Valdez. Hello, welcome to Lawrence Valdez Horsemanship. Today we're here with um, Lemon Drop. She is um, Mindy's, a client of ours, um, mule, and she has some issues with her ears. So I wanted to make this a lesson for everybody to kind of see and view so that you see how I handle an animal that wants to flip their head around and possibly um, bash you in the chest or the face or whatever. What I've done is I've taken two lead ropes and I have fastened it, fastened them to each end of the hitching post so that there's no give there. And I just work up, and it's on both ends, I work up to the ears and let them know that I'm not going to hurt them. I'll start about right here and get up to about right here and back off. Get right here. If they're not fighting, I'll back off. I eventually get right here. I'll rub a little bit and I'll back off so that there, she understands that there is a release because remember, it's all about the release. When you apply pressure, you have to release in the spot that is comfortable for the animal so that you can teach the right thing or the desired thing. If your release is wrong and I come up here and she's fighting and throwing her head and I draw my hand back, I've taken away the pressure and given her the wrong cue. So as long as my hand is right here and she's fighting me, I try to keep it right there until she stops. When she stops, I draw my hand back. Okay, so I'm going to make it feel good right here. I'm protected once again in the cross ties in case she throws her head. Um, hopefully it won't hit me in the face or, like I said, in the chest or shoulder. So I'm making it feel good there. There's no opposition reflex. I'm going to draw my hand back. Give her 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Approach. Now I'm going to come up here, maybe rub here on the forehead and on the pole. She did well. I'm going to release. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Now I'm going to come back up here. So she knows now I'm not going to hurt her, obviously. So I'm going to just grab the ear gently and slide my hand over it. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. There was no fight, no opposition. Now I'll come up here, rub her ears, and there's no opposition. Now I'm going to move to the other side. I'll start back here again, work my way up, because what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And when, when you switch sides, you call, we call it, you change brains. Just because you can do it on one side doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it on the other. You have to work both sides until you can do both sides equally the same. Okay, I'll come up here, no opposition, slide my hand back. 1001, 1002, 1003. I'll approach, come up here, do the same thing, rub the forehead, rub the pole, release. 1001, 1002, 1003. Come back up here, I'll put my, there's a little bit, just a little, she wasn't quite sure, so I'm gonna release because she didn't fight me. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Now you notice she kind of moved into me there. That's positive flexion. 